everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Just here to um, pop down a card for the day for us. I'm going to be using the black and white Faulkner deck as normal. And um, okay. So let's have a look and see what we've got today. Okay. Oh yeah, firstly, apologies for not being around yesterday. I'm afraid life took over yesterday and I just didn't have time, just ran out of time to do this. So I'm gonna pop down a card for us for today. Let's see what we've got going on okay so the card i've got for today is the lovely eight of pentacles now the eight of pentacles is um a fabulous card it's it's kind of in terms of um the theme of it it tends to be talking about work business that sort of thing um it doesn't have to be just about that and when we're doing a daily card i tend to look at the more general meaning so you know it kind of talks about you know taking control getting recognized for your efforts you know you can see that the um the card there is is saying that you're the boss so it's about you kind of stepping into your power really and being recognized and having that energy of being in control and in charge of what you're doing and and all of those good things that come with hard work. So it's um, it's a really, really good card. In terms of work and business, it's about success, promotions, getting a new job that's better than the one that you've got at the moment. All of that kind of energy. So it's a really, really good positive energy for us today. Um, it's a card that says today is better than yesterday. Thank goodness. Hurrah. Um, so, you know, it's about improvement. It's about making things better, things being better around you. Um, I don't go into a lot of detail about money cards and things on this when I'm doing these daily cards, just because, you know, we have to be careful about what we say about money. And, and I'm not here to give you any advice on that subject at all. But this is a really good, strong money card. So it does suggest that, you know, wherever you are um, with that particular area of your life things get better this is better this is an improvement okay this is card where things get better um i'm also really drawn to the pens in the pen pot behind the mug now i've said to you before if you've watched my stuff before you know what i what i say about cards tarot cards in general oracle cards particularly the faulkner deck um because the faulkner deck is the one that I work with the most so it kind of has its moments where one thing jumps out to me and then another day another thing might jump out to me today it's the pens in the pen pot so it could be a day we find yourself signing contracts um you know signing up for something new maybe learning something new maybe a maybe a course or maybe um I actually feel like this is more to do with contracts and stuff like that and, and signing documents so you know it could be that there's something around you that's going on today that you're you're signing off on um you know i used to um work in a corporate environment where i, I was like the person that signed off on artworks on on, on you know sort of pricing of things and that sort of thing so you could find yourself you know like signing off on different deals or you know whatever it is that you do i just kind of feel like i'm writing i feel like i'm writing something signing something um could also be talking about you writing something creative the pentacles cards are quite creative cards so if you're into things like um creative writing writing a novel writing stories writing poems all of that kind of thing comes in when we're looking at that sort of stuff now traditionally the eight of pentacles would not be like about that but because i'm drawn to those pens in that pen pot i feel like we're looking at writing okay so let me have a little look at what we've got going on in the lovely energy tarot uh, sorry energy oracle i can't get my words out today i have a real problem articulating um maybe i should be writing it instead Okay, so let's have a little look and see what we've got with this lovely deck. Okay, let's 
so let's have a little look and see we've got oh it, there we go see look there's the man holding the coin now the man hide, holding the coin is um we've had him recently and 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 he's he's been around recently i've been doing some work with these these cards and this card keeps coming up so the man holding the coin is an earth sign energy that sort of male energy doesn't have to be just male but it can be talking about those male traits or male characteristics um so without getting into too much sort of you know keeping the genders really really defined because i think there's a lot of crossover in energy this is saying that this is likely to be a guy um an earth sign energy in terms of a card for the day the general energy with this person because this you know is is a person um is that they are reliable they're slow they're steady they're reliable now you know if you're a, a, a one sign like me you're probably reading boring um not at all because this person's quite creative you can see you know these these cards do have some rather handsome men in their illustrations you know this guy's really got something interesting going on with him you know he's got his lovely long hair and his eyes are really kind of you know there's something about him that's not boring okay so um I would say in terms of a card for the day you will ask you will be asked to possibly take on some responsibility um you know the boss card there is talking about um, being being a manager being in charge of something there's a degree of responsibility with that and that comes in with this card too so you know something where you are responsible something where you have control you know something where you're managing something someone or or people or, you know that kind of energy so it's a really really positive card um it's progressive it's creative um it asks you to um you know kind of keep on your path really keep stick to your dreams don't get put off you know man holding the coin is holds his coin because he's earned it he's got there you know this is guy not a guy who's like won the lottery this is a guy who's worked for his money he's earned it might have his own business so could be talking to you about things like that you know working for yourself being self-employed running your own business creating something for yourself so this is a massively creative sort of spread really yeah eight of pentacles and your man holding the coin so i would say to you for today you know all those things that I've I've mentioned are all kind of possible for you. It's a really, really positive energy. It's it's talking about abundance, making something for yourself, creating things for yourself and, and just, you know, having that pleasure of knowing that you did that for yourself and you, you've achieved something. So really lovely positive cards. I will leave them with you for today and i will do my best to be here tomorrow i'm not sure if i'm going to make it tomorrow i've got loads of things happening and I, it might be that i don't have time to slot this in if i don't um i'm around on saturday so i will put down cards for the weekend on saturday um but for now what i'll do is actually i'll pick i'll pick out a quick card for tomorrow um just so that ha 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 my favorite um just so that you've got something for Friday if I don't make it here. So Friday's energy, tomorrow's energy is temperance. And temperance asks for the the good old swear word, patience. Um, as you know, if you've watched me before, you'll know I'm an Aries energy. I have none of this stuff. I know I've got no time for the whole patience story that keeps going on. Um, it's a lesson in my life for sure because it's it's a, it's a daily it's a daily struggle with patience for me. Um, you know, it's not an easy card for me to deal with. So um, I won't dwell on it too much. But the energy for tomorrow seems to be saying, you know, just take it one step at a time. Get what you need to get done. Um, don't rush. Don't push too hard. Allow it yourself to go with the flow. Temperance also talks about things like relationships with family and friends and kindness and and all of that stuff. So temperance has a lovely side to it. Don't get me wrong, um, but its traditional meaning, it, you know, it's one of its keywords is patience, and and that's like a bit of a swear word to us us wandy people. Um, so for tomorrow, Friday. Be gentle, be kind, and oh, be patient. I will leave that all with you for now, and hopefully I'll be back again tomorrow to do another little card. If not, 
I will be back again over the weekend to put some cards down for the weekend. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.